Some of my friends told me to make a YouTube channel because I do, I don't know, stuff. So, here we go. Gonna try and throw together a little video of uh, this thing. Started with a LQ4 truck motor my buddy gave me. built the engine in like a week and had no idea what I was doing with it until I found this 91 Bush Series NASCAR Pontiac Grand Prix so I bought this car with LS 5.3 homemade motor mounts some kid made and so I'm a little higher than I want, but I guess the the pan is about level with the cross member. I just have a ton of space there. He had it marked up with an even bigger truck oil pan. 
but I just wanted to get it set in here. I can get an idea for a transmission cross member and try and get a drive shaft measured up. This is my first LS swap, figuring out this wiring. Thankfully, there's websites like lt1swap.com make it uh easy enough i suppose getting closer cobbled together some power steering junk gotta get an alternator the main main battery down thing would open whatever Goes down for a starter. It's the old starter solenoid from the original car, but that main cable comes in from the cabin and it's hot when you turn the master switch on, so I'm just running off of that. Power for there for my PCM constant. This goes into a switch inside, powers my terminals for my coils, my injectors, the PCM key on. Inside. Master power on, feeds power to the rest of my switches, feeds power out to the old starter solenoid, which is where I'm getting power in the engine compartment. Then all the gauges will come on. And then I'm missing a little toggle, but that's supposed to be my start switch. So to do this the uh, easy way, you know, cheap way, 40 bucks, got the old Silverado fuel pump, and we're just going to figure out how to cut that guy in there. And, uh, got to run a return line, figure it out. So cut about that much off the springs too, just so it's not so tight. We'll try and reflare these ends. That should be it. Shorter fuel pump. Shorten the pump. That's my fill cap. This is the O-ring for the pump. Like it was fucking meant to be. Cut a hole in that. Use that to thread this and hold it on. Take the gas cap, cut a hole in it. Kind of hard to do it one handed, but tighten that bitch right on there. Be interesting to take the fuel pump out to fill it with gas every time, but deal with that later.
So it didn't have any oil pressure. I had to replace the O-ring. Then I had to cut the flanges off my manifold so I could flip them back down so they don't burn my plug wires. Got those back on, fired it back up. the chassis for about three weeks don't have a drive shaft yet or brakes so I haven't driven it stay tuned it's happening soon mm -hmm.